when we're going over to this one, guys, so far in this class, we have basically talked about factoring two different ways. We, fa we talked about factoring when we have three terms, which we'd call trinomial. And we talked about factoring when we had two terms. And we either factored, <laughs> we either factored with two terms by using the GCF, or we use the, like, the difference of two squares. Um, what else we're going to talk about today is, um, Sierra, no, that she's real good right there. That's where she's going to stay. So we could also talk about the difference of two cubes, which we're going to talk about today. However, when we have four terms, the only thing that we have gone over to here with four terms is factoring out the GCF. However, these do not have anything in common, do they? So we can't factor out any common terms. However, what we can do is what we call the grouping method. And the grouping method, what we do is we basically group the first two terms and group the last two terms. Now, when we group the first two terms, what we're basically looking to do, Amy, is factor out the GCF of each of these groupings. So I look at these and I say, what do these have in common? What is their greatest common factor between x cubed and 2x squared? Right. What do those have in common? Two. x squared. So when I factor out an x squared, I'm left with an x plus 2. two. Then I look over here and I say, what do these have in common? You could say a negative 3. So if I factor out a negative 3, I'm left with an x plus 2. Now you guys can see that these two expressions that are separated by this subtraction sign have an x plus 2 in red in common. So I factor that out, and I'm left with x squared minus 3. That is your factored form. Okay.